Guys, uh, a little bit of, of, of an introduction into Steam. I want to uh, show you a little bit how it works and uh, also talk about why I really think that Steam is amazing and why I have been addicted to it ever since I joined it, basically. Um, and Steam has now become my major um, social media application that I use on the internet uh, the most on a daily basis. I'm most addicted to, I use every day. Um, I have to try to not vote too much. Uh, why we can maybe learn um, later on. So I want to kind of show you a couple of um, just reasons uh, why Steam is awesome. And then I'm also just going to give you a couple of little demos so you get an idea of how it works. And, and, my, yeah, and my idea is to kind of uh, give you an overview so that if you have no clue what Steam it is, after this talk you should kind of feel comfortable actually diving in and using it. Um, and if you've maybe used it a little bit, then I think we also want to kind of help you uh, teach today a little bit how to understand more details and how to actually um, make a little more money than um, uh, just, uh, yeah, if you don't, uh, if you don't know the details, so to, so to speak. All right, so can we go to the next slide? So first of all, why is Steam it awesome? The number one reason why Steam is awesome is that it is a social media application that is entirely run on the blockchain. So this is not a social media company that is using a cryptocurrency or anything like this. Everything is basically run on the blockchain. And so to me, this is what got me really exciting because I was always looking for uh, when are we going to see like a real application that we can use day to day that is not money. And uh, there are not that many out yet that are used productively, but Steam is basically a working product that competes with Facebook and Twitter and all your other social media apps that you use, Reddit, Medium, that sort of stuff. So Steam is actually competing with these guys, is productive, but completely based on a blockchain. If you go to the next slide, um, why, why does this matter? And if you've ever heard uh, my, my talks about uh, the value of a blockchain, to me, the really value of why Bitcoin is valuable, and if you watch TV today and you have these people all confused about why the price goes up all the time, it's usually because they do not understand the value of a blockchain. And to me, the value of a blockchain is very simple. It replaces the manual process of, of organizing work um, in the case of money to run a financial system, which you can only do if you have a country, um, if you have laws and regulation, you can enforce this. A humongous process that is very manual and requires, it requires a huge monopoly, basically, on the whole country. And all of this is replaced by basically a game a game of value uh, that's run by game theory and math. So m game theory is essentially math. Um, I'm also a little bit of a poker player. So to me, this is like uh, all of this is replaced by basically some gambling, if you really think about it. And to me, that is really, really amazing. This is what gets me excited about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. But really, for me, we need to have more things than just money to see this work. And so Steemit is, is one of the first examples that shows that Bitcoin is more than just money. It's there, there's actually the technology behind it, the blockchain, is actually something that can replace the way work is organized or productivity is organized. And in this case, we have Steam that competes with Facebook um, or other social media application that are run by a company and Steam does not require a company. It's run by a blockchain. So that, that is really cool. Um, yeah, and this is kind of why I think this really matters and why I have been excited about Steam from the beginning. Nowadays, of course, what matters a lot more to me is the bottom line because I make money on Steam every day. Um, and I think it's probably the cryptocurrency that gives me the most kind of return um, on a daily basis compared to any other cryptocurrency. Yeah, so um, I think I would like to just kind of show you Steam a little bit instead of showing you a bunch of slides. So before going to the second reason, I want to actually give you a little bit of a demo. So um, for the folks, 
that haven't um, haven't seen Steam, I'm just going to go to Steam. So this is um, uh, Steam. Now you get to Steam by basically typing in steamit.com. And so Steam, Steamit is actually uh, something like a block explorer. And what you see here now, you see my particular feed. So this is uh, my particular account. You can see here I'm logged in. Um, and one of the things that I have is a feed. And a feed is basically all the folks that I'm following, whatever they're writing. So I follow a whole bunch of people, um, I think over a thousand people um, that I follow. And whatever they're posting, I can see here on my feed. And so just like, uh, just like I have a Facebook feed, I have here a feed of uh, stuff that folks are posting. And what I can do, I can, I can read these posts. And again, I don't know uh, what this is in particular, but if I click on a post, I can then, me, I'm so sorry. not a problem, I can then take a look at this. So what we can also do, we have a trending page. And this is now not what uh, my particular stuff um, is, but this is what is the most popular things on Steam. And this is measured by what you can see here is a dollar amount. So you can see here the most, one of the most popular posts right now is this thing. I haven't, uh, I haven't read this yet, um, but it's, it seems something interesting. And um, so here uh, somebody is introducing apparently a new project, what is Wiper, and, um, and is, uh, has made a post and he, he received about uh, 1200 bucks right now uh, in upvotes. So there's about a 1000 upvotes and altogether they've, they've earned him so far uh, roughly $1200. So Steam is very, very simple in that what you can do is you can post a post here. So um, I can say, hi guys, and then I can write some text here. Um, and I can just uh, provide a tag. And you can see it's a very, very basic interface and you can use markup to make this pretty, but essentially you have here a simple way uh, to create a post. And I've just uh, written a post. And uh, you can see now here in my particular, I have a blog page. And you can see here now that this post that I've written is here. And you can also see earlier today, I wrote a post about this meetup, a very simple one. Um, and you can see here people interacting with me. So, some of you guys may actually be here in this room. Is somebody here that has commented here uh, here in this room? Is that you? Me? Uh, yeah, this is the one I got here going. Yeah, maybe. So, so um, yeah. So, so it's very simple. You can basically just post, um, and you can comment also on posts, as you can see. Um, so here, this is. Uh, the original um, uh, presentation of this meetup, where the meetup was introduced. Um, you can see I also commented here. Um, and uh, yeah, so you can comment and you can look at stuff and you can also upvote things. So you can see I've already upvoted this particular post. Now, when you upvote things, uh, the post earn money. So let me go to uh, to one of my feed and just um, yeah, just pick a particular post here. This is a Spanish post. It doesn't really matter. Um, but what I can do here, you can see this post right now has earned about two dollars um, from about eleven votes. And what I can do, I can upvote this post. And if I upvote this post, my vote is worth about. Uh, 10, 11 bucks right now. So you can see, so you can see I've just basically given uh, about 10 bucks uh, to this person uh, because I like her, her post. And so this is very different from when I go on Facebook or when I go on YouTube, my, um, my vote or my view is never worth um, as much as it is here. Yeah, so um, we, will, we will talk a little bit about uh, how this is, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys a basic overview of how this works. And um, level one, Steemit, is just sign up, get an account, and post your stuff, and hope you get some upvotes and maybe make a little bit of money. Um, okay, so let me go back to my, uh, my slide.
And um, let's talk a little bit, usually, so usually when I show people that you can make money by posting on Steam, they always ask the second question, where's the money coming from? And so this is why my second reason why Steam is awesome is about where the money is coming from. So I'm assuming we're all into crypto and we all know a little bit how Bitcoin works and we all know that Bitcoin has mining and mining rewards. And pretty much every cryptocurrency uh, uses some form of, of, of creating money, usually by, by printing it somehow. In Bitcoin, it is being mined. Well, Steam also has um, a blockchain with blocks, and blocks are being created every three seconds. And every three seconds, uh, a new block is being created and new coins are being created, just like in Bitcoin. The difference is that the, the miners, which in Steemit are called the witnesses, they're only getting about 5% of that money that is being created. Most of the money goes to all the uh, folks that are active on the network, they basically receive this money. So you can see curation, this basically means voting. So when I upvote somebody, I also make money just from upvoting. Authors, so those are the posts, make about 70% of all the money. Commons also receive money. Um, and then folks that buy Steam and power it up, um, we talk about, we'll, we'll talk about that a bit later, they get a little bit of interest. So of the money that is being created, pretty much all but 5% goes back to the community. Folks that are investing, but primarily folks that are being active in a, uh, by posting, commenting, and curating content. So that is really where the money is coming from. And to me, that is a great way of, um, of using this newly printed money because it incentivizes the creation of value. If we think about Steam, what is it? A social media site. Steam is really about creating fantastic content. And I told you before that today I spent most of my social media time on Steam. This is because I find I get the best content on Steam um, versus other sites, uh, including news and, um, and, 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 and Twitter and that sort of stuff. So I follow a bunch of people and I look at specific folks and um, yeah, and I find that the content on Steam is, is very good because it now, make, it now gives people a reason to actually write content. Yeah, let's go to the next slide. So you can make some serious money with Steam. I just showed you that my vote is worth uh, $10. Um, and there's folks that are making thousands of dollars with their posts. Uh, we just saw at some of them, but you also have to take into account that just like with everything, you don't get this for free or um, it's not like you can just go there and collect the money very easily. So it's also hard work and you are competing against everybody else. Um, but I have found there is no other or there's no easier way to uh, kind of make at least a, a, a small, like a couple hundred, a couple thousand dollars uh, by being active on social media. I have a, a, a YouTube account, for instance. I have videos with hundreds of thousands of views. I can barely make a thousand dollars with something like that. And um, on Steam, every post makes me usually between, you know, 20, 30 to 100 bucks. So that um, is, is uh, Quite amazing. So now I want to also show you uh, some examples before I talk about pretty girls on Steam. Um, I want to show you some examples of uh, how, how people have made money. So, and I want to show you a couple of friends of mine uh, that are that are, being, that are being active. So uh, we've already heard uh, Surfer Mali. Surfer Mali is one of the first users that I have um, uh, told about Steemit and she joined and it took her a long time to actually be successful, but she's been working at it and she's been writing uh, posts and she now makes um, a continuously a good amount of money with her posts. So, so you can see she just posted today. So let's give her an upvote. Um, 
And you can see here she posts uh, surfer videos, she, li she lives in the uh, Canarian Islands um, and so she likes to surf and um, show off how, what a, f a fantastic life she has. And um, just to, to kind of give you, give you guys an idea of, of the amount of money she makes, we can take a look at her wallet. So every user on Steemit you can check out and uh, you can basically just type in her, um, her name and then you can literally look into her wallet and you can see she has about 5,000 or 6,000 Steam Power. Her account is worth about $22,000. Um, but really what I want to take a look at is kind of the rewards that she's getting. So you can see in the last week she made about uh, 200 SPD and SPD right now trades at uh, I think four or five dollars. Um, so that alone is about a thousand bucks and then she also made uh, Steam Power which also uh, is uh, trades at around four or five dollars right now, probably four. So that's another, you know, couple hundred dollars. So she's making a couple thousand dollars a month. So this is already at a level where uh, like an average kind of income for like an average American basically. Uh, it's what she's making by basically writing uh, writing a blog, you know, every day or every other day. So you can see she writes, uh, she writes pretty much um, every day. Yeah, um, I want to show you another example, my brother, um, just to give you an example how things may look uh, when you are a beginner. So my brother, um, uh, you know, is not very famous. Um, and he doesn't get a lot of votes. So you can see he posted a post about something that happened in Germany, it's in German, and he only has uh, about 12 upvotes. Um, and of course, uh, most of this money, as you can see, is coming from me. So, so in the beginning, if you do good content and if you're active on the site, you may just get you know, a couple of cents to a couple of dollars. Um, but you know, Surfer Mali was the same way. In the beginning, uh, nobody upvoted her, but then over time, as you start to build a following, you may get, uh, you may get more rewards. So what I wanted to show you is that um, it's not super easy uh, to, or you won't just get the money thrown after you. You will have to put in the work, but if you manage to get a following, it's, it's, it's a very good way to kind of make, make an income. Yeah, so, um, and also, uh, if, if you take a look at my brother, you can see his wallet. He's only joined, um, well, he joined in June, but he's only basically been active uh, for about a month. So, you can see he managed to basically make $2,000 in about a month. Um, he actually sold me some steam for cash uh, last month. So he made about $2,000 $2, in about a month. Uh, now my, my brother is unemployed, so for him this is actually a decent chunk of change. Um, now, to be fair, my brother can't only make this much money because I am a relatively big boy on Steam. I'm not a whale, but um, I can basically upvote him every day for like uh, 10, 20 or 30 dollars depending on how many posts he writes. So most of this money is probably coming from me and friends of mine. So it does help when you have somebody that is kind of, uh, 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 yeah, has a bunch of steam power. We will talk about steam power a bit, uh, bit later. So you also have to be fair. So do not expect to go on steam and make $2,000 in your first month, right? Um, you will need to build basically a following and, and have some bigger boys um, like your stuff and then you will, you will quickly be able to make um, you know, a couple hundred to a thousands a month or even in a week. Yeah, so um, that's kind of just uh, the money side of things that I wanted to show you. And um, now let's, uh, let's, let's talk about uh, the pretty side of things. So, so one of the so one of the things that I really like about Steam is, is cryptocurrency is such a nerdy thing, right? But really what is different about Steam is you don't have to be a nerd or a crypto dude to basically go to Steam. Um, anybody, including pretty girls, can basically use Steam.
And so, what? They know a lot about crypto too. So, um, uh, Heidi Travels is one of the celebrities of Steemit, and um, Sweet Jess is also a very big celebrity. She writes uh, always like travel trips, and she's cute, and she always makes hundreds of dollars with every one of her posts. Um, and and Surfer Molly is this friend of mine, but Surfer Molly is a great example. I would have never talked to her about Bitcoin, um, but I was I, I was okay with talking to her about Steemit because I could talk about blogging, right? And so now she got into crypto because of Steam. So Steam is also a great way that like the masses or anybody can join uh, into kind of crypto land because all you have to do is sign up. You don't need any money to invest. You can just sign up, start to write, and you will start to earn cryptocurrency. So that I find just, um, just really cool. All right, let's go to the next slide. Um, another thing that I personally really love about Steam is that there's not as much trolling going on on Steam. I don't know if you guys ever been on Reddit. There's always this like, people bashing each other and trolling each other. You usually do not find that very much on Steam. And the reason is, it doesn't pay to do that. So if you piss people off, uh, they may downvote you, they, they will certainly not upvote you, right? So as a result of this, um, Steam is a lot more amic a lot nicer, everybody's a lot nicer to each other uh, on Steam than I found on other social media. Um, there are some flagging things going on, so you can upvote on Steam, but you can also downvote on Steam. And sometimes when people don't like each other, they downvote each other and there are some kind of flagging wars going on. I would suggest you to just try to stay out of those. But in general, my feeling is that um, it's just, it, people are a lot nicer on Steam to each other uh, than on other social media. And that is usually because if you're nice to somebody, it's more likely that they will upvote you and that is profitable for you and for them. So that just creates a nice environment. All right, let's go to the next point. So Steam has three types of currencies. And this may be very, very confusing, and I, wanna, I want to um, introduce or talk about them a little bit. So there's three currency. There's the Steam currency. This is the regular currency that gets printed every block and works just like every other cryptocurrency. You can trade it. It goes up and down in value like crazy. A couple of months ago, it was a dollar. Then it went to, I don't know, $14, and now it's at $4. So that regular kind of super volatility is going on. The next thing that Steam has tried to introduce is SPD that is supposed to be stable. It has a little bit of a design flaw in that it has a bottom, at, um, an SPD is always worth at least a dollar. Currently it is trading above a dollar. I have no clue why anybody would pay more than one dollar in Steam, Steam uh, for Steam dollars. So when I get them, I always dump them on the market because I'm worried that they will go down to one dollar. And right now I can sell them for five. So I always exchange my Steam dollar for uh, Steam and then I power them up. And power uh, Steam power is the next uh, thing. It's basically Steam that you lock away and when you lock it away, you get influence in the, uh, in the platform. So you saw me that my vote was currently about $10. The reason why I get to upvote people with $10 is because I have about 60,000 steam power um, and I vote too much. So right now my voting power is only about 50 or 60%. Um, but basically because I've locked away steam, I, have, I get a little bit influence in a platform and I get to distribute some of the money that gets um, created every day to, uh, to content creators. So I basically, because I lock money away, I become a stakeholder and that then gives me the right to, be, to decide a certain amount of that printed money who gets that by upvoting for them. So that's basically how that works. So let's go to the uh, next slide. And there's a user, his name is M. Steemian, and he's made uh, uh, this little chart. So we have Steam Power. Steam Power is about influence. It gives you influence. But what you have to do, you have to take Steam and you have to lock it up. That means you can't 
get access to it, meaning you cannot sell it, that means you have to kind of trust or think in the long term, believe in the platform. And when you do that, you basically become a stakeholder in the platform and um, and then you get this influence, your vote is worth uh, a bit more money. You can upvote other people, you can even upvote yourself, so I always upvote my, my own posts. Um, um, but I also upvote a lot of other people's posts. Yeah, and then we have Steam and we have Steam Dollars. Steam Dollars is... Uh, is, is for me the kind of a very cool way of getting a stable currency and the reason why this was created is so that people that earn currency on Steam do not sell it right away but but you can just keep it and not worry about the value going down um, but currently the uh, it doesn't really work so we'll see if they will fix Steam Dollar in a sense that it will come down to one dollar and not go higher or if they leave it the good news right now is because of the fact that Steam Dollar trades higher means you get more rewards and this additional reward money that you get is actually paid for by the market. Um, so this is actually a good thing for Steam because it basically brings value into the ecosystem um, and guys on the market that overpay for Steam Dollars basically give that money to you. So right now this is a uh, Good reason actually to be very active on Steam because you get more rewards than you are supposed to get. So right now if Steam Dollar trades at $5, you get about half your rewards in Steam Dollars. So that means you get two and a half times as much as rewards as you're supposed to get or as you would normally get. So that's also very sweet and one of the reasons why in the last couple of weeks and months um, everybody on Steam has, has made a lot more money than we used to. Okay, let's go to the next slide. Um, also wanted to kind of just show you um, some of the stats. So Steam, I as an investor, um, I really love Steam because it just has a very beautiful growth. So